Daniel J. Watts is a Broadway star on the rise, fresh off a Tony nomination for his work in Tina, the Tina Turner musical. Charlie's here with the story. Thanks, Samson. Daniel J. Watts returns to his Tony-nominated role as Ike Turner. We sat down here at the Renaissance Hotel to talk about the fan favorite show and so much more. So Daniel, you just celebrated somewhat of an anniversary, 15 years on Broadway. Sheesh, yes. You debuted in The Color Purple 15 years ago. Yeah. Could that person have ever imagined you'd be where you are today? Yes and no. The first answer is no, right? And then there's a subtle underneath, like, yeah, of course, this is what I came here for. You know, it, it, it's both, but you know, it, it, the way and the magnitude in which it all happened, uh, I could not have imagined it. So of course we know you play Ike in the musical Tina. Can you kind of talk about that role and what attracted you to it initially? Oh man, Ike Turner is uh, is a hurt person. I think that's what attracted me to it. When I, I hadn't thought about Ike Turner ever since watching What's Love Got To Do With It. And knowing that Adrian was doing the show in London and finding out that my name had been thrown in the hat uh, to audition for it, I just did a deep dive of who he was. What, what was I missing? I resonated with him in terms of like, there is an artist in here who is trying to deal with a lot of things and sometimes art isn't enough. Mm -hmm. And what happens when art isn't enough? And I felt that I had something interesting to bring to the role, uh, something sensitive to bring to the role. And um, that, that challenge to maybe help people look at not only Ike, but any individual like that differently with just a little bit more color, and a little bit more, no, more nuance is what I wanted to do. It's quite the heavy role. How do you mentally prepare for it? And then how do you take that off when you leave? I, I, I take it off. You know, I didn't know how to do that before. Uh, before the pandemic, I was very much wearing it everywhere. And it's, you know, I think that's just part of the process. And now I know, I, I know what the depths are. <laughs> I know what is too deep and I can just put it on long enough to tell the story. And then I take a shower after the show, you know, just a nice, long, hot, just people outside, hey, I'm outside. I'm like, I'll see you when I get done taking this off, you know, um, which I, I also realize the importance of that. I've always taken pride in being the kind of artist that's always making moves. I know that you paint with your feet. <sighs> Is that a part of your therapy for this particular role and helping you afterwards, or is that just something that you do for fun? I think it became that. I think uh, for a lot of people, the pandemic hit them right away. It didn't really hit me until September, and that was when I started painting, and I finally had this other thing to kind of release, and realizing that taking on Ike was a part of it. You know, um, I talk about it in my TED talk, you know, I didn't know whose trauma was whose. I didn't know whose trauma was Hugh's. You know, what colors were mine and what colors were Ike's. Uh, so painting has now become a thing. It's very therapeutic and I haven't been able to paint as much because I don't have as much time as I had before, but I've, you know, I've, I started painting again literally last week. And it's like, there you are, okay. Yeah. <laughs>